back again at SUTD for the boys C Division National League One semi-final as we see Victoria School and Bartley Secondary School go head-to-head -head for the right to meet St. Patrick's School in the final next week. And we saw St. Patrick's yesterday in dominant form. And they'll be watching with plenty of interest as we look to reveal the team that they will be facing in the final at Jalan Besar Stadium next week. A really interesting game yesterday. St. Patrick's won their match in convincing fashion, I have to say. Meridian Secondary School started really, really brightly and had a couple of chances and Cyrus go, especially in the opening exchanges with two gilt edge opportunities, just couldn't close it out. St. Patrick's more clinical in front of goal and through Danish Adam with a brace and dropping hand. They got the better of Meridian Secondary School. And so St. Patrick's are in the final and we await the winner of Victoria versus Bartley Secondary School. These teams have met already once in the competition earlier this year and that went to Bartley Secondary who beat Victoria School by three goals to one. Victoria were 1-0 up at halftime, but just fell apart in the second half. And Bartley scoring three goals in the second half. So just awaiting both teams who are preparing to come onto the pitch. It is a very hot day here at SUTD. Once again, we do expect a water break midway through each half. And it is the same for every C Division match this year. Whether you're in League 1, League 2, League 3 or League 4, 30 minutes per half. Do leave your comments as you watch this on our Facebook or YouTube page. We want to hear from you. Who are you supporting today? Who are you backing? And good to note as well that there's plenty of support by both sides here. Classmates, schoolmates coming down to support their friends who will take to the pitch very, very shortly. having a look at the Bartley cheerleading squad and they will lead the cheers for their side. And as yesterday, I will repeat it here for players of Victoria and Bartley as the teams march onto the pitch. This is as big a match as these boys will play in their career so far. The semi-final in the national level in C Division, C Division making up of players in Sec 1 and Sec 2. Victoria in the yellow and black, Bartley in the red and white. Good to see the full complement of officials as well. A main referee followed by two assistant referees and a fourth official as well. Well, as the players go through the pre-match handshakes and settle into last-minute huddle, photo taking, of course. Let's go through the lineups, starting with Victoria School, and they will play a 4-4-1-1 formation. Pasindu Nimsara will be in goal. The back four of Muhammad Jazli, Pasan Akuru Goda, Shang Tai, and Paul Bradley. Four across midfield, Ryan Pei at left midfield, Sharaf Ama at right midfield, and the two central midfielders, Sahu Garf and Joven Ang. Alson Ha will be in attacking midfield, 
and Yasser Nizamuddin will lead the line, the number 11 for Victoria. Two captains going through the toss of the coin. Pick a side, we pick the ball. And here is Bartley secondary. And their lineup goes like this. It is a 4-5-1 formation for them. Ritis Purja in goal, Edwin Limbu at right back, Mohamed Al Kasha at left back, the two central defenders, Eksha Limbu and Mohamed Azami. Four across midfield. Zulkifri Lee, Ramli, Ningsang, Parangden, Anjal Pulami and Nirmal Giri. Kabia Gali will be the floater in between midfield and attack. And Mohamed Fairuz, the number nine, will lead the way for Batley Secondary. So final instructions by the coach. of Bartley Secondary. They've already beaten Victoria School once, so can they do it again? Or will there be revenge for Victoria School on this occasion? Remember, the final of the C Division, League One, next week at Jalan Besar Stadium. Victoria School are ready to go here. I'm just looking at Nero Malgiri on the far left has plenty of height on him and it will be a threat at set piece for Bartley Secondary, I'm sure. And Bali will kick off. They'll be in the red and white strip. They'll be attacking from left to right. And they'll kick off through Mohamed Fairuz. Just awaiting the signal to get things going here. And here we go, Bartley Secondary to start off. And a quick touch for Eksha Limbu. Plays it to the right. Number 10 is Zukifli Ramli. Throw for Bali to be taken by Edwin Limbu. Not to be confused by Eksha Limbu. Ball out by Anjal. Spread out wide by Ning Sang. There's a touch for Neil Malgiri who plays it back. And oh nice to see. Comfortable in possession. They won't force it. They'll play it from the back here, Bartley. Nice to see that at this level. You know, that's hooped forward by Eksha. And they'll go out for a Victoria. Throw in the number 10 is at left back. Mohamed Jazli. Just a side note that the coach of Victoria School is Lawrence Lee, the father of SPL head coach of Tampa Rovers, Gavin. So coaching runs in the blood in that family. That's cut out by Paul Bradley. There's a chance for Sharaf. But again, they played out from the back here. That's very nice to see from Bartley Secondary. Just 
extra. But Edwin can't keep that in. It's a closer look at Mohamed Jasli. This Jobanang, just a heavy touch and it's good defending there by Neomal. He wins the throw for his side as well. Loose ball picked up here by Bali out wide to Zukifli. It's good defending by Victoria, but at the expense of a corner. Very comfortable and confident start by Bali secondary in the early stages of this match. Corner to be taken by Kabia Gala. Kabia's corner to the near post. And that's cleared away. There's a nice clearance in the end. Finds teammates who just couldn't keep it in play. Goal kick to be taken by Shang Tai. Pasindu not confident enough to take the kicks for his side. Well, all right, it's a good touch here by Ryan Pei. If he can get away from his marker. Still here with Ryan. Cuts inside and finds Captain Nisa Muden with a nice true ball. Here's an early charge. Was he tucked back? Well, it's a call by the referee. Was it outside the area? Well, it's a free kick and, well, Victoria School don't want to have this free kick. Why has it been given the other way? Confusion here. Well, it seemed like the call was a free kick for Victoria School and all their players have backed off. Well, even they couldn't believe that they had a free kick in that situation. A little chuckle by... Coach Lawrence on the bench. And that was a great run by Shara. Possibly the smallest boy on the pitch. Oh, just outside the penalty area. And here's a chance. The first big chance of the match. Does seem to be Ryan Pei standing over it, the number 19. Will he go for goal? Tries to curl it. A little bit too much curl on that. Doesn't even trouble the goalkeeper. Very comfortable that is for Ritis Porja. That kick straight out of play and chance for Victoria to put on the pressure. Yes. Mohamed Jasli, his throw. Now a chance for Bali to go on the counter. Searching ball down the right, goes out of play. Jasley's throw. Confident play by Eksha. Cut out by Jasli. 
Nice hold up play by the captain, Yasser. Sahu will look for the men out wide. Nice dribbling by Anjal. The chase is on here for Firus. Just out muscle by Pasan Akurugoda. Ningsang, Anjal, goes back to the defender as they set up another attack. Iksha, who oh, has to be careful, they're almost robbed by opposing captain Yasser. Hustling by Kabia. Well, that's a true ball looking for Nirmal. Nirmal driving into the area, he needs options, gets a cross in, but straight into the hands of Pasindu Nimsara. Good header by Edwin. Give and go. Number 10 for Bartley, Zukifli. Still with Zukifli, that might fall. Yeah, and an opportunity for Bartley. Desperate clearance, but they get the danger away. Nice defending by Al Kasha. 12 years, Ning Sang. will be picked up by Jasli, the left back of Victoria. Jasli throw. Just nodded out of play by Victoria and Bartley still in possession. It's Edwin. Space here for Anjal, who switches it to Nirmal. That's great defending by Paul Bradley. But they regain possession here, Bartley. Danger signs. Well defended, and now a chance for Victoria to spring a counter. But look at the work rate here. Fantastic defending by Zulkifli Ramli. And that's your right winger. All the way back, helping out in the defence. Pyrus got past one defender, couldn't take it past the second. Strong challenge. And here is Zukifli. Nice little bit of skill. And you want players to express themselves. Easy for us to say here, but it is a big match for them. The semi-final of C Division League One. Plenty at stake as the shot comes in by Virus. It's comfortable for Pasindu. That's a good kick there by Pasindu. No pity, no player took a gamble on that kick. No ball bouncing around. Clearance by Pasan. 
Here's a chance for the attack for Bartley. A strike on goal. Well, Neil Malgiri cutting in from the left. Shot with his right foot. And the goalkeeper was confident to just see it out of play. 12 minutes played here. Still nil-nil between Victoria and Bartley. St. Patrick's waiting in the final. Well, Edwin Limbu dealt with that eventually. Eksha will launch this. It's a good kick, searching ball. But he's still in possession with Anjal. Well, good to see they're not forcing the issue. Ning Sang. Great football, Edwin. So Kifli taking on his man. Can he get a cross in? Yes, he can. Will there be a finish? Well, almost an own goal. It came off. A Victoria School defender there. Might have been either Shang Tai or Pasan. And that's a close call. That's great football from Bartley. Kabia with the corner. Strike on goal by Anjal and that goes over the bar. Nice play midfield but he breaks down here. Victoria haven't really got forward in an attacking sense thus far. Eksha, the time. Again, another long ball. But it could be a good one here. It's awkward. But good searching ball out for Neil Malgiri. And Victoria might be wise in closing down Eksha in defence. He has the capability of switching play from right to left and the option is Nirmal who has a height advantage in any aerial duel the majority of the players that he's facing there's a chance for Victoria to go on the attack there's an opportunity Amar Sharaf Amar is offside Came in from the right. We do expect a water break to occur very, very soon. The next break of play potentially. This extra, another long ball. It's an awkward one. The bounce. Oh, I'm taking charge of this. Good battle in midfield. Ball falls to Kabia. Who just loses out. Now some space. For Sharaf. Tries to link up with Yasser. Again, Sharaf. This time he finds Yasser. He needs support. Yasser with a strike on goal. Ambitious. Accountable for Ritis. Anjal. Jasli and left back. Looking for options here. A dangerous ball into the middle of the park. And that goes out of play and I think we'll have that water break. As that's right, the referee calling for the water break. A quick one. Quick turnaround, 20 seconds and we'll be back. Into the action. Still nil-nil. Let us know in the comment section if you're watching us.
on Facebook or YouTube. Who has been the better team? Who do you think will win here? Well, some support for Bartley we're seeing here. Cha Yu says Neha Limbu. Plenty of support for Bartley in the comment section. Where's the support for Victoria? Let's be having you. Some support for the commentator as well from Ang Chiu Wei. Thanks for that. Well, play is restarted with a foul troll. Foul troll by Edwin Limbu. Jas Lee will take the throw. I'm looking for Yase. Well defended by Eksha. This is Yase. Can he keep it under control? Oh, good strength by the frontman. Big battle. And Bali get away with this. Plenty players in defense for Victoria. And they use that numbers to good effect. Here's Yase with some space. Will he go for goal? The run coming from Sharaf Amai. What a goal that is! The smallest man on the pitch with a fantastic goal. And what vision that is by the captain, Yase Nizamuddin, who was patiently waiting for the run. And the timing and strength of the pass, just nice for Sharaf Amar to slot it past Ritis Purja. And 19 minutes gone, Victoria 1-0 up over Bartley. Well, they were punished there for backing off from Yase Nizamuddin. And that's a skill that can't really be taught at such a young age. It's just instinct, the timing and weight of the pass to Sharaf Amar. Bali tried to respond, but that shot takes a deflection and Pasindu will claim this easily. Well, just like yesterday, against the run of play, you have to say Bartley have been dominant. But you don't take a chances, you get punished. And that's exactly what Sharaf Amar has done. Good defending. Here's a goal scorer. Well, Yasser will put the press on and this will be picked up ball into the area will he find Yase good goalkeeping by Ritis Zulkifli will chase this down just too much pressure there didn't really need to foul Jazzy there will be Free kick to Victoria. There's been a couple of good touches by Bartley's number 16, Kabia Gali. Fantastic touches for 13 year old, 14 year old, for sticking to his feet. It's definitely a player to watch out for. It's been a couple of times where he just stopped the ball dead from a goal kick. Loose clearance. And here's another chance to set Shara free. Yase still in possession. Needs support. Just snuffed out in the end. Here's Kabia. Closed down by Sahu. 
A good football by Victoria. Well, here's an opportunity for Joven out wide. Good cross into the area. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Yasser should have done better on that occasion. And a golden opportunity to put his side 2 0 up. But true, Sharaf Amar. A little chili party down the right. Zukifli, can he keep this in? He can. Still the danger, not over. Can he get a strike on goal? He can. What a save. What a save. That is by Pasindu Nimsara. And that ball was rifling into the top corner, but great acrobatic save. Well, the heat has definitely been turned up. Set piece opportunity. Not cleared fully. Will it be cleared here? Good play by Anjal. They lose out here. Victoria on the counter. Not quite enough to find Sharaf. Virus tries to do it himself. Well, not sure why the flag is up. The ball did not find Nirmal. Well, he's been... Well, he's given the offside call. But it wasn't played to Nirmal, it was a run by Firos. Almost a pass to himself, Nirmal wasn't involved. Was there any advantage in that? from Nirmal being in that position. A little more than five minutes to go till half time. Extra's hitter. It's Firus. That's well to hold up the ball. This is good defending in the end. By Joven. Bartley back on the attack. That pass a little too strong for Nirmal. Did take a deflection and will go out for a Bartley corner. Well, they need good delivery here. To the near post, headed away. Yase using his strength. And just crowded out. Loses possession. Eksha in possession for Bartley. To Edwin. Back to Eksha. Oh, he loses out. He's out of position here. And Yase. Oh, that's a tired pass. Mayase just needs a little breather at this moment, has run a lot. We're coming together between both captains. Now go out for a throw to Victoria. Virus. Oh, nice skill, nice footwork. Awkward one, and that's handball. And they come off the arm of Passan. Bali look like they're about to bring on a substitute here. Not before this set-piece opportunity. 
And Mohamed Azami from Bali looks primed to take up this free kick opportunity here. I just walked away from that one. Opportunity here, takes a deflection. Oh, unorthodox goalkeeping, but he gets the job done in the end. Pasindu. It was Zukifli in the end who took that shot. And here is again Zul, good defending. That is by Jasli. Nirmal, that's a good touch. Equally good defending. A Paul Bradley. Ball is cut out. Almost on the counter there. Ryan Pei. Here's Ukifli. Good strength. That is by Eksha. Edwin. And now a chance for the counter again. Victoria. Oh, here is Sharaf. Having difficulty dealing with Sharaf Amar. One minute to go of the half. Before we go into a little break here. Sheng Tai, a shot at goal here. A oh, heart in mouth moment for Reed is Purja. That's an interesting ball looking for Zuki Flea down the right. See plenty of the ball. Oh, that's an interesting strike. And coming in from Anjal. And there is a player injured. Does seem to be Zukifli who's down injured. Referee hasn't spotted it. And played out of play first. Zukifli will require some treatment here. The medic will be called on. Perhaps exhaustion on the part of Zukifli Ramli does seem to be okay. Just holding his bit rib. Well, we hope he's okay here, Zukifli.
very common for players at this age to just not pace themselves and get stitches in the midriff. And he just needs to walk it out. Although it does seem to be the final bit of action for Zukifli and that'll be a big blow for Bartley. Bartley might make the change here or maybe during the halftime break. It's a loose ball. Has to be the final attack of the game, surely. Space for Anjal. Bali, remember, down to 10 men temporarily, yet to make a substitute to replace Zukifli Ramli. Zukifli does seem to be okay. And he might play a part in the second half as the referee blows the halftime whistle here. Victoria School lead by one goal to nil in this C Division Boys Football League One semi-final. And Victoria School 1-0 up courtesy of Sharaf Amar's goal after 19 minutes. Another 30 to go. We'll see you in a couple of minutes.
back for second half action here from SUTD with Victoria School 1-0 up over Bartley Secondary a goal after 19 minutes by Sharaf Amar just chasing down that long ball for Bartley I think if she change things around here Eksha Limbo is in midfield just to add a little bite here as he tries to stop Yasser just trying to run you through the changes here Mohamed Azami does seem to be partnering Ning Sang at the back And Kabya Gali, who was playing attacking midfield in the first half, is a right back now for Bartley. Very strange stuff. Here's Nirmal. There's Zukifli, who's okay after his knock in the first half. Azami. Strong touch by Al Kasha. Yase loses out in that challenge. First of the ball is Anjal. It's Edwin Limbu, who's at right midfield. Was right back in the first half. Kabia. Long ball. Flicked away. Here's Niramal. Pushed out wide, still with Nirmal. Good defending, second ball. Cleared by Victoria. And for Victoria, they will hope it's not deja vu. They were 1 0 up against Bali earlier this season. Lost 3 1 in the end. Al Kasha. Azami, confident play from the back. Ning Sang. This ball cut out by Ryan Pei. Unsung hero so far for Victoria Victoria has been Sahu Garf. As that shot comes in, it's an awkward one, bouncing right in front of the keeper. Was Zukifli once again. Good save by Pasindu. That ball trying to release Sharaf. A cut out by Bartley here. Ning Sang has to be careful. Taking the chances at the back here, Ritis. Number seven is Nirmal. Now blocked it with his hand here. It's saying this is arm, Paul Bradley. Shoulder, perhaps. Neksha Limbu oh, is the set piece specialist for Bali. And he'll need a good delivery here. Here comes Neksha's ball. Goes straight for goal. Was dipping. I didn't trouble Pasindu.
Nice work there by Anjal. Iksha. Good defending so far. Strong defending by Victoria. There's Zukifli. Out wide to Alkasha. Uh, pass breaks down, but still again with Zukifli. Down the left, Zukifli will cut out to his right. Loose ball, Anjal. Will he get a strike at goal here? Anjal! With the equaliser! And they backed off, they backed off, and they paid a price. Bali secondary level in here. Threw a strike by Anjal Pulami. Took a massive deflection on the way. But nothing Pasindu Nimsara could do about that. Well, what a game we have here. Ryan Pei wins a throw in for his side. But no one taking the responsibility earlier on to just close down Anjal had the freedom of SUTD. And there is the goal scorer with the clearance. And he'll make a change here, Victoria. On the next break of play. Yeah, number 18 will come on. Jaden Go is ready to come on for Victoria. One of the best hitter in the world, that is by Mohamed Jasli. Is Ryan. And free kick goes to Victoria's way, and here's the change. Jaden Go will replace Ryan Payne. Who's going to take this? Anjal. Still Anjal. Can't stop him at this moment. Yase Nizamuddin looks a very tired character right now. Hold that up. The momentum all with Bali right now. Ning Sang. All wide here. Opportunity to release Zukifli, who can't keep that in play. It's near Mal with the pass. I think the pattern was Edwin with the pass. Let's go, 
ball will go all the way back. Oh, good kick, looking for Nirma. And you have to say, you have to give credit to the coaching team of Bali. They've changed things around in the second half. They brought Eksha into midfield, dropped Ning Sang into defence. It's worked out for them. Alkasha, the stroll to Nirmal. Does well to keep it in play. Anjal. Big battle between Anjal and Yasir. Cut out by Ning Sang. Long ball into the box. Well claimed by Ritis. Oh, don't let the ball bounce, they say. There's Ukifli. Looking for the penalty, he won't get that. He'll get the throw in. But they smell blood here, Bartley. Alkasha. on by Nirma. Nirma only finds Anjal. As right footed as it comes here, Anjal. Always looking to shift it to his right. He seems to be the danger man right now. The player is feeling it the most and perhaps the most Lightless goal scorer for Bartley. He's driven the team from midfield. Oh, they lose out here. Chance for Yasid with a nice ball and a chance for Victoria. And Drew, a great goal. And I believe it is a substitute. Jaden Go with the goal. And again, it was Yase with the true ball. Well, they've only got themselves to blame here, Bartley. Losing the ball in midfield. Casual play from them and not making use of the momentum that they had through the equaliser. And Victoria now in the lead once again. And it is the super sub, Jaden Go. Yase with two assists in this game. He's feeling his legs for cramp now. And here's a chance. Well claimed by Pasindu. Kicks the ball out of play and Yase will get some attention here. He's run himself to the ground. He's covered every blade of artificial grass here on the SUTD pitch. What a pass, two times now by Yasser Nizamuddin, the captain of Victoria. He's not scored, but has played a huge part in the two goals that Victoria have scored. Set up Sharaf Amar after 19 minutes, and then Jaden Go with the finish after 43. As we have the water break, 
in the second half. 15 minutes left. Yase is still getting some treatment. Sporting play as they give the ball back here. That's true, Zukifli Ramli. Extra. Anjal's ball. Cut out by Jasli. Ning Sang. Ning Sang yet again. To Anjal. Here's Edwin Limbu. Loses out. Yase is back on the pitch. No nonsense, that is by Sahu Garf. Oh, it's broken here. Almost finding. Yase, who might have been borderline offside. Virus looking for Zukifli, breaks down. And they're camping in the Victoria half here, Bali. Akasha to Eksha. Oh, that just goes out of play. Pity that. Good skill by Eksha. ready to bring on another player number 13 Asim Gurung getting his final instructions Nice touch by Zukifli. A good closing down by Victoria. And here is the change, Asim Gurung. Will come on for Mohamed Fairuz. Zukifli will be the man leading the line for Bali in the final stages. Will be supported by Asim. Here is Asim. Sahu. Anywhere will do. Here's a goal scorer. 
Jaden and finds Yase. Still Yase. And good defending in the end by Azami. Sharaf. Anjal cleans up the danger. Zukifli. Plays it to Nirmal. Asim is in the area, keeps it in play. Goes to a Victoria body though. Sharaf gets a touch. Important one to Jaden. On the left here is Yase. Oh, they're basically just leaving Yase up front to create something here. Whereas the rest just defend. Zukifli. Breaks through on goal, Zukifli. Just ran out of steam there. Uh, eight and a half minutes to go, plus any added time. Sharaf. Number 14 is Joven Ang. He's been an unsung hero in midfield for Victoria. That move breaks down. Azami launches it. Second ball picked up by Al Kasha. Ning Sang. Well, anywhere will do, but how long can they hold out here? Victoria. It's basically four, five, and then Yase up front by himself. Ning Sang is pushed forward. It's good closing down by Sahu. Ning Sang does well to win it back. Anjal, back to Edwin, to Anjal. Pressing from the front. Ning Sang to Anjal. Edwin, will the pressure pay off here for Bartley? Oh, he'll reset, goes all the way back to Kabia. There's opportunity for Bartley. Good goalkeeping. Fantastic goalkeeping, that is, by Pasindu. The goalkeeper is down on the ground. Referee has called a halt to play. That's brave goalkeeping by Pasindu. All the players taking an opportunity to get a, get on some liquids here. It is a very hot and humid day. The scorching sun here in Upper Changi. The goalkeeper Pasindu does seem to be okay. Bali ready to bring on a substitute keeper. Strange one, isn't it? Well, number two is Byron Yap. 
come on for Ritis. Well, will he act almost as a quarterback here? Byron, yeah. Well, they can go for the long shot here if they want. I believe that the goalkeeper Ritis Purja is now playing outfield and they've got a goalkeeper to replace him. Oh. And it's a chance for Yase to round it off. Oh, good save in the end by Byron. It looks big enough to be in junior college. Sahu, Ningsang. Well, they're just gonna have shots here as they wish. Victoria. Byron, big kick. Alkasha. Eksha. Here's Asim. Just can't keep it in play. Final two and a half minutes. And the trainer might be called on for a Victoria player just needing attention here. It's Alson Howe. Victoria, two minutes away from meeting St. Patrick's in the final. Well, Denzel Chua is coming on for Elson Howe. Now, two minutes here, Denzel. Can Victoria hold on or will we see late, late, late drama? Anjal fighting away. They win the throw here. Bartley. All hands on deck. As we go into the final minutes. Anjal's header, here's an opportunity! Zukifli Ramli with the acrobatic scissor kick but can't find a way past Basindu. So Kifli will just hobble off here. Will he play any other part in this match? Change coming up. Bartley will make a change. Praful Gurung is ready to come on, possibly to replace Zo Kifli. What a clearance. Goes to a Victoria shirt. And here's Yase. True ball and an opportunity to finish it off. And good defending in the end.
massive kick. That is by Byron. Alkasha. Back to Alkasha. Ning Sang. Still playing the football here. Eksha. Alkasha. It's a loose ball to Sahu. He just kicks the ball out. It's a throw in. So Kifli is back on. Throw coming in. Well, they call for handball. They get Sahu going for the quick free kick, being told by everyone. Slow it down. I think the signal has been given that there's two more minutes of added time. Oh, fantastic skill. And here's a chance for Yase who's offside. Just running down the clock here. Well, two balls on the pitch won't do. Byron. Cut out here yeah, by Jasley, who's done well at left back. He clears his lines. They're hanging on here, Victoria. Will we see one final opportunity? Eksha. That's cleared by Denzel. Long throw coming in by Eksha. Oh, the flick on was by Ritis. Eksha with the header back into the danger area. Almost an old goal. They'll get the corner. Final opportunity coming up. Can he get the delivery on point here, Kabia? It's a tester. Still alive. A shot coming in by Anjal. Blocked. And the keeper is up. There is no goalkeeper. Can he get a shot away? Good defending. Stopped him in the act of shooting. Kabia. Oh, still alive for Victoria. Yase. Just kicks it out of play. But that's it. Victoria are into the final. Of the C Division Boys Football League One Championships. And they will meet St. Patrick's next week at Jalan Basar Stadium. And the Bartley players are on their hands on the ground. They've given their all here, but what a fantastic effort by both sides. And they'll need some consoling here, the Bartley players. They've given their all. But so have Victoria. And through Yase Nizamuddin, who set up both goals. He is the outstanding man of the match, I'm sure, for Victoria. It all started after 19 minutes, Sharaf Amar latching onto a true ball from Yase to put Victoria 1-0 up at the break. They did well to rebound in the second half. Bali secondary and Anjal Pulami was given time and space to have a crack at goal, took a deflection, but it took enough to beat Pasindu Nimsara. They were on top at that moment, but Jaden Go, a super sub, barely minutes after coming on for Ryan Pei, Latching onto another great true ball by Yase Nizamuddin. And his finish after 43 minutes, as we see Lawrence Lee, the coach of Victoria School, congratulating his players. Jaden Go with the finish, and he is the match winner as Victoria School.
take this by two goals to one. We look forward to the final next week. St. Patrick's versus Victoria.